In today's video, we're gonna look at a generator that costs just $99 from Harbor Freight. Now for that price, you might think this thing is a joke or it wouldn't even last more than a couple of times, but I decided to order one for myself and put it to a real test. Now just starting it up and listening to it run or maybe hooking up a voltmeter, that's not gonna do it. I wanted to find out about the power this thing actually generates. Was it good and something you could use or is it actually so damaging you shouldn't hook anything up to it? And this is the tailgater generator made by Harbor Freight. Now it's really compact, it's got that nice handle, and to use it you'll want to go ahead and add gasoline. But that's where this thing differs than other generators because it's actually a two-stroke engine. And all that means is you can't just add gasoline, you've got to buy a special type of oil like this, mix it with the gasoline, and then you can add it to the fuel tank. Tailgate is not going to win any beauty contest, but at this price, it's all about function. You've got a fuel shutoff valve, and the front of the unit's basic, but it has what you need. You've got a single AC outlet, along with a circuit breaker, and then you've got your engine start stop switch. And starting the generator is surprisingly easy. It doesn't have any type of primer bulb. You just slide that lever to the start position, that engages the choke, and now you can pull start the generator. The generator started on the second pull and I was pretty impressed because two strokes can sometimes be hard to start, but then there was this. It was actually quiet. Now I know I don't have anything plugged in the front, but it really doesn't make much of a difference because it's actually running at full speed. This is the secret to how it's so quiet. They put a huge muffler on the back. The other thing you'll notice is that the spark plug is really easy to get at as well. I measured 64 decibels standing 23 feet away from the generator. Now if you're wondering why 23 feet, that's actually the standard distance that manufacturers measure their sound ratings on their generators. But is this thing safe? Are we going to get real electricity or are we going to get some kind of power from a third world country? Well to answer that question you need a tool like this. This is a power quality analyzer and it cost about $10,000 but the good news is I bought the tool so that you don't have to. The red and blue cables in that outlet box are how I can tap into the electrical circuit of the generator. The first thing I'm going to check is voltage because that's a good starting point with any generator and as you can see 121 volts is perfect. We still don't know if the power is clean and for that answer we need to start by looking at the generator's sine wave. This is from a Honda generator costing a lot more money so the sine wave is nice and smooth. Think of it like a road, you'd want it to have smooth curves and straight lines for a good ride. But as we look at this generator you can see that the sine wave does not look like that. It's very jagged and erratic and this is not an ideal result. But don't give up yet because there's more to the story. I connected a 250 watt heater to the generator and first off it had no problems whatsoever running it and it really shouldn't but the next thing I wanted to look at was the sine wave to see if having a load in the generator changed it and as you can see it actually smoothed out quite a bit. It's not perfect but what this tells us is that the generator is able to deliver higher quality power while it's actually running a load. But there's one more critical measurement and that's noise from the generator itself. Now this measurement is called total harmonic distortion. If you think about the word harmonic, it's kind of like a harmonica and nobody really wants to hear that at all. So you want that number as low as possible but you're never going to get it to zero. And as you can see here, we're getting about 14% and that's actually an acceptable reading for a gas type of generator, especially at this price range. Now for comparison we've got the Honda EU2200i. Now this thing cost over 10 times the price of the tailgater at $1100. So you should expect a lot and as we start the same test we can see that the voltage is fine but when you get to the sine wave look at the difference. And this Honda uses different technology, it's got an inverter built in. Now Honda's not the only one that has this, I also reviewed a Generac that has the same type of equipment even the total harmonic distortion is under 1%. And this is why inverter generators are generally safe for medical devices, computers, or any kind of electronics. After seeing those tests, you might think the tailgater is something you should avoid, but it's actually just the opposite. It passed those tests with flying colors considering the price and the type of generator it is. This doesn't have an inverter, so it's perfect for running things like drills, saws, or maybe even electric heaters. But don't use it on computers or other electronics because you will burn them out or cause other issues down the road. So hopefully you liked this video, got you to see a little bit more about what goes into a generator and why one costs more than the other. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.